<laughs> Look who's returned. Uh, hey, listen, did you see where she went? Who? The, the, the girl, the photographer. Who? Where is she? She went that way. That way? Eileen. I think, yeah. There's a Lori on the phone asking for candy. She's calling Colette. Do I accept? I, I'm going to transfer her. OK. Do what you can to pick up this room a bit, huh? Christmas tree pickups tomorrow morning. Your father pulled it out to the garage. You just have to take it down to the curb. A tree is huge. It weighs like 300 pounds. Look, Maggie, you know we don't have any problem with you staying here. It, okay. It's, okay. Okay. I'll, 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 I'll try to put it out. Hmm. <laughs> you know, it's going to be okay, Mags. <laughs> You're going to get through this. He called me a loser, and he walked out on me. The only real relationship I ever had just walks right out the door. And you know why? It's because of that bitch's hair. You know, when I pick you up, you could be waiting over at the cafeteria. Sam, come on, honey. Samantha. Samantha, what are you doing? Come on, Sam. You're not an animal, for God's sakes, girl. Come on, get your seatbelt on. Hey, uh, you got your soccer stuff? D, yes. you got your soccer stuff? Uh... All right, well, listen, we're running late, so I would suggest you get dressed in the car, OK? You know, you can't sleep in that recliner overnight, Jerry. If he doesn't want to listen, then he's so upset in the morning when his back won't work. Tell the truth about her. I don't even miss her. Unfortunately, I don't think anybody does. And that's the saddest part, but your mama did that to herself. D did you hear that? Turn it off. Turn it off. We've got to get out of here. Come on. Drive away as far and fast as you can. Go, go. 